Hello and welcome everyone to a step-by-step -step guide on how to assemble an IKEA wardrobe. The wardrobe is fully assembled and functional and you can put items in it and it uh, is quite spacious. So without further ado, let's get it started. Okie dokie, so um, the first step in uh, building our new house is going with the wardrobe, which should be the Songi san yeah, and I think we've got all four pieces of the wardrobe in here. Uh, over here I got the bed, but I'm going to leave that to the side, maybe I'll move the... Uh, whole package a little bit to the left so I can have a bit more room here and then uh, once uh, that's done I'll start unpacking this thing and see what's up I've set up the GoPro <laughs> over there I'm gonna take a nice little time lapse of the whole shebang and uh, hopefully uh, well, I'm gonna put everything down in this area once I'm done I might need to do a bit of moving around first all right then, let's get started. So in box number one, we have what appears to be one of the doors and the box with the fittings, which is this one. Interesting. Okay. And uh, over here we have one of the lower panels, I guess. And here we have the instruction book <laughs> which I will have to read thoroughly right now to figure out how everything goes Everything is unboxed. I've laid them in some sort of fashion in order, and now we're going to go through them. So, in box number one, we had the fittings, yeah, with everything that needs to be in there. Uh, the back panel, which is this foldable thing. So it's very thin, so it's not a proper solid back panel, unfortunately. And this is something that I haven't noticed. So keep in mind when you get the wardrobe. The other thing that we had in panel one, in the box number one, I think, was one of the doors. If I'm not mistaken, this one. And some of the shelves. Yeah, these here are the shelves. So the whole package, the whole wardrobe has the fittings, the doors, including the mirrored one. This is the third one. Then we have the, um, I think this is the middle panel, the one that separates the compartments. These here are the uh, side panels. The shelves, the 
trims maybe you can call them that if not that it's just some structural resistance pieces and down here we have the bottom and top panels yeah so like i said box number one had the fittings maybe a door and a panel box number two and three had the side panels and i think a door and some elements in here maybe some panels and box number four had most importantly be very careful about this the uh, metal door with the mirror and uh, something else so my suggestion is unbox everything take them apart so you know where they are read the manual extremely important you might want to read that before you actually get the wardrobe yeah and also get one of these from them super useful they're gonna be especially for the screws yeah it's called a fixa it has everything that you might need to assemble stuff from them doesn't have a uh, normal screwdriver uh, so screwdriver sorry uh, an electric screwdriver uh, so you can't take holes with it but it's uh, it serves the purpose okay so we are gonna continue with the assembling according to the instructions in the booklet which uh, if you follow exactly should take you through the entire process it says you shouldn't assemble it uh, by yourself you should assemble it on a uh, non hard floor which I am doing and then it gives you all the fittings everything that's in there yeah and then the actual instructions into how to assemble everything start putting the panels together okay so it's gonna be nuts but let's get to it So the first page, which is this one, starts assembling what we have in the bottom panel and the side panels. So we start with the bottom panel where we insert these wooden pegs, I guess I would call them, in the uh, smaller holes. Yeah, one thing to be careful about is, I haven't actually done that, but uh, try to only hammer them in till the middle part. So in case the hole is longer than that, you don't end up uh, having problems. Yeah, because it's going to end up very likely over here based on the next stage. Yeah, um, and on these, the two, which are the side panels, we have to screw in these little I guess holders supports whatever you want to call them in uh, the positions instructed on the page yeah very importantly here on the bottom so as you can see what they have is a uh, plastic thingy and uh, this goes inside the smaller holes yeah like uh, they're smaller than this one so they're kind of like this and I guess the next stage would be for this bad boy to go into those yeah because what's gonna happen most likely is these gonna go in or is it like that and they're just gonna support everything together All right let's get that going then So the next step was to, like I mentioned, insert the bottom plate into the side plate, side panel, and then basically screw in these bad boys. The way these work are very simple. You just screw them. You can sort of take them out. 
if you struggle a little bit. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, and these just hold the screw in place that we have over here. Yeah, so we just put them over here like that. Yeah, make sure it's sort of like this so it doesn't catch into the thing. And then you just screw it in normally and that holds the panel together. It's this quick mechanism. Then what we did next is we took this sort of back plate and screwed these clamps in and put the pegs on the top. Inserted these into the bottom into the side panel as well. Screwed the bottom panel to the side panel. And then we've put another quick catch in there. And the next steps, so those were instructions three and four up to seven. Yeah. Next will be to turn this on its side, put the top, and quite a few other things, including the middle panel. All right, let's continue then. Now, instructions 11 to 15 are where you'll get a bit sweaty to some extent, especially 13, is uh, everything has to be put in place. So this middle panel, we need to put in some pegs. Most of the times these dish just go in by themselves, you know, so you don't need to worry about, you know, hammering them in or something. So that's good. Uh, stop focusing on my sock, buddy. Uh, Okay, and uh, you just put them in over here and they go straight into place. Yeah, and then this front beam, because this is actually the back, the one that's towards us now, um, has to be again pegged in on one end. And then on the other, we just slide it in, put another one of these quick latches, and we're good to go. Then the middle thing has to be put into place where we've got screws and holes here. And then we gotta put in these bad boys over here. They are some massive screws. Yeah. And uh, they take a lot of effort to put in. So you're gonna need the screwdriver initially to get them going. And then you're gonna need this uh, Allen key side thingy where you're gonna have to do that and then properly screw them in. And that's going to take a bit of effort. Okay, so the next steps will be to use one of these, particularly the one with the two holes. Plug these in like that. Yep. And then what do we got to do? We got to put some plugs to the side. Put it on the bottom. Yeah, screw it in. And then we'll do the same with the other one. And that should take us all the way to the other side panel. All right. Righty then. Well, getting super tired now. So what I've done here was uh, I deviated from their plan a little bit. So um, instead of actually putting this thing first, I left it towards the end um, so that we can put it in properly because this is not being supported by anything. So if I would just put it in place here, then it would have started bending and caused some issues. So what I did is I brought in the second panel yeah, I put this thing at the top first because this one has a support, so it's good. And then I brought in the second panel and uh, it needs a little bit of fiddling around here. So you need to actually lift 
the bottom panel a little bit yeah so you can actually put the whole thing in and uh, slide everything in place over here and then over here and then put the quick catches and there you have it a proper to some extent fully assembled uh, thing before we actually get going uh, now the next step would be to put what I assume is the top panel yeah and we'll put that together screw it in oh man that's a lot of screws oh, that's gonna be painful <laughs> um, okay and then um, we're ready to lift it sweet okay let's put this other bad boy in place And yes, here we have it, the final thing, upright, ready to receive the rest of its things. So what I did is I added the top part in with its pegs and necessary screws, put in the quick latches, it's wiggling a little bit because it doesn't have a back structure and this is something that annoys me the fact that that is the only thing that's gonna keep it from doing side motions and I'm not happy with it this thing should have had a proper full back instead of just this bullshit that's over here we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah I don't like it. It sways quite a bit. I'm not sure if you can see it, but here yeah, I'm just moving it a little bit and it does sway quite a bit. Maybe I should have gotten a better one. Oh well, too late now. Right, so the next things, as per the instructions, are to. So, as you can see, I've, I did this before actually putting it I'm not gonna hang it anywhere so I just put these screws in before I lifted it now what we gotta do is put in the back panel and then we need to put in these things to secure the back panel I guess yeah and after those we put in the smaller ones and then we just Supposedly click into place. No, we'll see. Okay, let's see how that works then. Ugh. So now that the uh, back panel has been inserted. Uh, it goes in by you have these holes over here and you just like put these little plastic thingies in there and then what you do to firmly put them in place you just have one of these bad boys get it in like that and uh, you gotta make sure it's all in and then push it as much as you can in there so that it stays firmly in place it's good I should keep the back panel from you know just moving sliding and if you really want to you can use your hammer although I don't really know how recommended this is you just to give it a light tap or two just to make sure that it's properly set in there and that's good now one of the things that I've noticed is that because this back panel is so flimsy and so stupid I literally have no idea why they're using this pathetic back panel you could have just made this thing more expensive, yeah, because it's just like it just wobbles so badly. 
The only way to make sure it doesn't wobble is to use these holes. But to do these, you have to screw in the back panel. But there's no holes in the actual side or side, the middle panel. Yeah, as you can see. So they're telling me in the next instructions to use some of these little screws around here somewhere and then basically make my own holes into this. I have no idea why they're doing this. Seems tremendously stupid to me. Yeah, they could have just made some nice holes like for all of these panels in here without me having to just drill my own holes in. And I don't have a drill, which makes things even more complicated. And yeah, that causes issues. So I guess I'll have to manually screw them in because I can't have this backboard constantly moving, yeah? And even then, if I do this, it will still be moving over here like that, yeah? Even if I screw this in. So that just seems incredibly stupid to me to make this so flimsy. Plus it doesn't help with the sort of lateral stability of the whole thing. Very poor IKEA, bad, poor grade from my end on this side. So be careful of this. If you want to order a proper wardrobe, make sure it has a proper back. And we've got it in place. I uh, put everything together. As you can see, it's all free. And now I managed to put it in here. Fits in perfectly. Yeah. And now I just got to put in the doors and the shelves. So, uh, in here, it's just telling me to put the internal fixings first. But I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to mount everything on the doors first. And uh, then I'm going to fit them into place on the actual thing. I might need the help of somebody, probably my neighbor. I don't know. I'll see. Hopefully not. Uh, and then I'll get it into place. So yeah. Next thing, put the doors in. And the doors are now in. Finally, after much turmoil, I managed to get the doors in. So, uh, should be starting on this side. And then we'll leave that one later. <laughs> so, what was the next step was to, as I mentioned, put these in the doors and then put the hinges in the actual uh, panels. So just simple according to the instructions, put the screws in, tighten them, same on this side. Make sure they're straight, perfectly aligned in the middle, you know, it's not skewed to some way or another. Same here, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some tiny marks over there where you can align the center of the screws with the thing. Use those because they're very useful and do the same for all of them and over here and over here yeah and same on the other side it's just a 
basically identical to this. Now, when it comes to the adjustments, the way the panel goes in is as you see into the instructions, you just bring it in, you get this particular screw through the hole, make sure you align all of them, and then you just push the panel, yeah, the door towards the actual wardrobe, and it goes in. Uh, what you can do then is you can screw these and adjust the actual gap, so the distance to the uh, to the panel using those. Now, for me, the best was I think I have about two threads, something like that, left. If you tighten the screw the panel will get farther away from the actual other panel if you loosen it and then make sure you tighten and loosen this accordingly so that it's all tight it will get closer to the panel so uh, use those adjustments to bring the panels as close as you want them and you can have them one thing to be careful of is that so you'll see better here when you actually close the door the door actually because of the hinge mechanism gets close to the panel and then retreats, gets further away. Yeah, So uh, you got to leave some space so you can't just completely tighten it or else it's going to rub. Which is something that I've been trying to do for the past half an hour with all of it. Yeah, So just leave some space in there so it doesn't rub when you open the door. But other than that, you know, it's going to go back and it's going to be fine. Same in the middle, make sure you got plenty of space so that it doesn't rub. Unfortunately, as you can see, the gap goes down. This is because the doors are not perfect. As you can see clearly here, you know, the space is almost perfect here on the left. But to the right, you know, it gets larger in here, in the middle. And then gets tighter up top. So, fortunately, the doors are not perfect. So it's just the way they work. And it's not down to how you adjust this thing in the middle, it's down to basically the door because the door is not so flexible so that it just basically gets moved by the hinge in the middle. So be careful about that, how you put them in. And yeah, I guess this is, uh, this is good, you know, I'm still not happy with the fact that it shakes quite a bit. But uh, hey, it's Ikea. What more can we ask? And uh, yeah, there we have it. Now, the uh, next step would be to put in the handles. I guess that's what this thing says here. Yeah, I gotta put this stopper first. So it needs to go in over here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. So it's just going like this so it stops the door so it doesn't go further back. Yeah. And then I will put in the handles so we can open the doors. And uh, last but not least, the uh, hanger and the actual shelves themselves. And hopefully, that should be it. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, and we need to put some sort of like door stoppers in all of them so the door doesn't get, you know, banged. Yes. And leave some sort of space. Good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's continue then. And ta -da! It is done! I have finished assembling Songye san Oh man, this thing was insane. It took me hours. But it's finally done. Everything is in place. I've left this final bit so I can show you because it's a bit tricky how to put on the shelves. You need to be careful. But other than that, it is done. The uh, hangers are in. Bar, you just goes into place. It has this little plastic snap. Yeah, this thing is here. I've put in the stoppers, the handles, 
Everything is done. Oh man, this was insane. Not super, super amazingly happy with it, but it's uh, it's there. You know, it's just taking shape. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get back to what I wanted to show you. So, for this final bit, I will show you what's going on with the shelves. I'm gonna close this and we're gonna look at this. Yeah. So basically, these things are the things that go inside. Yeah, in order to hold the shelves, the shelf thingies. Yeah. So the way they work is they fit perfectly. These things here, yeah, which you can see have similar profile. So if you put this in here, yeah, should go all the way in. And that's how it needs to stay inside. So you need to put these things here like that. Yeah, with this side up. And then make sure that you align this properly because this side is shorter than that side. So this needs to be towards the exit. And then you sort of slide it into place. Yeah. And then on the bottom, you make sure all the things are in place. Yeah. And you slowly try to push on it. Make sure it's going what it's supposed to be. And if it's not, just try to arrange some of these pegs. Yeah, there we go. One there. This one's good. This one's good for here. Yeah, but for some reason, that one doesn't want to go in. And we just need to. Yeah, I just need a bit of a push, I guess. And it should be in. This one's good, this one's good. And there we have it. They're both there. So, everything is good, everything is settled. The wardrobe is done. And we have completed today's mission. All is well, and I didn't even cut myself which I tend to do when I do important things like these. I always draw blood. But uh, yeah, I guess I did a pretty good job. So with that said, Constantine is signing out. See you for the next bit, which is the bed.